Right, got rid of the flanny, put a t-shirt on, I'm ready to head inland and what do you know, the weather turned out quite nice uh, this afternoon, or late late morning actually, um, heading into the afternoon, so we're about ready, we're, the van's all settled up, um, there was something I was going to tell you guys, um, and it's just escaped my mind at the moment, <laughs> typical, we're on our way. Alright, well we've just travelled oh, just over, I think it was, it was over 200 kilometres from Adelaide to Port Perry. We're uh, just the back of a sports oval over here and uh, there's a supermarket and things over this side and it, this is the CMCA um, campground. Uh, you just have to be pretty much self-contained, hold your grey water, black water. There is um, a dump site available and there is um, fill up water available as well. And a little uh, little shed over here uh, that's good for a little bit of a, you got a little shed there, have a little happy hour from time to time. We can come around and have a few drinkies and, and catch up with what's on. Um, other than that, yeah, we're going to have a little walk and get some exercise around uh, Port Perry. Um, I think we've missed our little uh, options for things like uh, there's a, a, a real good, um, uh, I think it's an Iroquois museum here and there's a little uh, little uh, maritime museum as well. Other than that, yeah, as I said, we're just going to go and stretch our legs. So uh, on we go. All right, we're at Wagon's Ho. It was just a short stay here in Port Perry. We might just toodle over there by the, uh, the the wharf or something and see what makes uh, Port Perry tick. Um, as I say, it's just a fleeting visit. We're heading um, towards uh, Port Augusta and further up, uh, about a 300k trip today. So uh, getting our act together. Dude's parked up there by the water. Great little stop here at the CMCA park. It's behind Kmart and Coles and um, did the trick for us last night, nice and quiet. There was a couple of little delivery trucks, so don't go parking where the, uh, the, the, uh, the caretaker is over there. Um, park over this way here and it stays away from the noise of it. Other than that, pretty good spot. Onwards! Right, well as promised, can't leave town without uh, giving it a little uh, once over and that involves driving down the main street. Pretty, pretty buildings around the place, very, very nice. Um, and Jude's just whipped over to the pie shop, the bakery. So uh, she said it was absolutely packed. I think it was just over here and uh looking good so um yeah it's a um a hustling hustling and bustling little uh obviously a port city i don't know but uh it uh this creek that i'm starting to look at over here opens out onto the uh excuse the wind look at the size of the silos here so i think there's um there's, there's grain oh, i was saying this this little creek or this river um, which is obviously used for a lot of the loading. You can see the grain silo there with all the little loading ramps that will go out to uh, load a ship. Whether it's grain or something, I don't know. Don't quote me on that one. There's lots and lots of minerals and things that are um, shipped to here or shipped from here. But there's that little creek there and it obviously uh, exits out in that direction. And you can see, uh, oh, there's, a, I'm in, I'm in, there's some tugs, um, a big uh, stack there. And there's a couple of ships being loaded down the down the bottom there, and I believe uh, the river um, exits exits out into the Spencer Gulf, I think they call it. So um, obviously there's lots of ports: Port Lincoln, Port Augusta, Port Perry, Port. Yeah. So obviously a very uh, busy little waterways around the bottom part of uh, Australia. I think we were about 230 odd k's from Adelaide and uh, we're heading towards Port Augusta now and it was about, oh, I think it was 90 odd k's. Um, the other thing that I noted is that um, this was, I think one of the world's um, 
biggest uh, lead smelter. So I, I guess that's what the uh, the old the stack is there behind me. And uh, I seem to remember that, um, who else had a lot to do with that? Um, was that uh, was it Winton? Mount Isa? I think had something to do with that too. So. Yeah, I don't know who's competing for the biggest or whatever. But yeah, heaps, there's there's a lot of uh, rare earth going on here too, as a processing, which I think is being processed through an old uranium factory or something like that. So I say, don't quote me, just quick little hearsays that have been going on the place, but nice little spot to whip on in, that little caravan spot, and then you can, oh, pretty little buildings around. So sadly, we have to move. See you soon. Alrighty, getting an absolute face full of dust and dirt and everything. But interesting uh, drive today. We've uh, come from uh, Port Perry uh, through um, Port Augusta and then um, hooked to left, or no, hooked to right, and started our way up uh, towards uh, Cooper Pedy and um, Uluru. There's rock. Ooh, and I'm here getting blasted by dirt. <laughs> I'm at a place, uh, I think it's Island View. Island View Lagoon or something. It's beautiful. But poke your head around there. Whoa, she's windy as. So um, let's hope for some better weather where I can get a little bit of um, uh, photography done for you guys. But it's going to be nice. I've been in windy conditions and the old van does rock and roll, but we sleep good. Um, all right, we just passed, uh, we could have stayed down the road. It was really, really appealing. It did look really nice. And Jude and I talked and she said, no, let's keep going. So on you Jude this restless night <laughs> but um, the place down the bottom was Spud's Roadhouse and it looked really good um, highly recommended um, it's a donation camp and it looked really clean and tidy but it was starting to fill up with lots of people and here there's nobody else around it's just us at the moment so hopefully uh, the winds die down and uh, the night skies open up and we end up with a really nice evening don't like my chances anyway we'll catch up and hopefully a better day tomorrow Well, good morning from, um, I think it was Island Lag Lagoon Lookout. There it is in the background. Hardly a breath of wind considering last night it was blowing like nobody's business. But we were fortunate. Um, around about 6.30, 7 o'clock, she died away. Heavens opened up and it was just beautiful starry night. Gorgeous night and very, very quiet and we had it to ourselves. It was nice. A little bit of rain, but uh, at first it was dusty and uh, windy and uh, you got sandblast and bits and pieces. Then a few little spats of rain and the van got absolutely peppered with these little red dots and I'm going like, oh no, the van's all dirty and well, what a great first day out. But um, the rain came, it's, it's, um, it, it um, dampened down the ground and uh, stopped the wind blowing around and uh, all the, um, the dirt, which was nice. And then the um, the rain washed the rest of the van off, and she's looking spick and span. Wanted to catch the uh, the sunrise, but so there's the van, and coming up behind us is going to be a beautiful day. Look at that! That's what it looks like this morning. So today we are heading towards um, Cooperpedy, and hopefully um, I'm looking. There's a 48 hour RV park. If I can get that, that'll be lovely, and we might spend a day or two there. Get some exercise, walk about town, and uh, see what makes Cooper PD tick. But yeah, what a smicko day! So quiet and uh, still, it's gorgeous. Really nice little spot. Love getting back out on the open road. This is what it's all about. Right, judging by our layout. 
couple of little landmarks around the place. We have made it to, where are we? Cooper Pedy. That's right, Cooper Pedy. Opal country. And to right, we saw a few, uh, a few little opal mines, a few little lumps around the place, and you can't help but see them all around here. So we managed, uh, we were going to stay at uh, just the other side of this big winch here somewhere. Oh, up over here, I think. There was a, uh, an RV park that we could stay for 48 hours, but it was a little tight, a um, little, uh, little bit rocky and things. So Jude elected to go to Oasis Family Caravan Park, which seems pretty nice. Wasn't bad rate. Got power, water, which we wouldn't have had at the other spot. And um, yeah, it'll do, especially location as well. It's uh, just, we're just walking from the caravan park straight into the guts of town. We're doing two nights here. So today is just a recce down the main street and see what we've got. And then tomorrow um, we'll take it in with a little bit more depth. And obviously what you see on top is nothing compared to what's down below, I believe. So check it out. We've made it. I've just made it to one of the high spots in Cooper Pedy. Not a bad day, 22, something degrees I suppose, a little breezy, a little bit of cool breeze, but an interesting looking town. Oh, down behind me, the, uh, the prop for Vin Diesel's Pitch Black. Stuart's Desert Peas. I was fortunate, uh, well, I missed filming one um, uh, De Grey's River, I think it was, just before Port Hedland. Um, there was a, a couple said that they found the Stuart's Peas there. And then I managed to see the peas at the King's Park in Perth. So, the third time, well, it's the second time I've seen them because I missed the first time. So yes, yeah, some lovely samples of the, uh, I'd call it Stuart's, but it's Stuart's Desert Peas, I think. Let's go and check them out, and they're beautiful. There we are, the sign. And also, please note, it is legal, illegal to remove the Stuart's Desert Peas. Look at that. All in their splendor. They even look, look like the peas, don't they? Pretty, pretty flowers. Now, there's not many along here, but there's a couple more examples. So I'm just coming down into uh, Umuna Opal Mine and Museum. So there's apparently uh, a mine we can walk around and a museum. So I won't bore it with too much. Oh, look at them. Aren't they great?
Well, we hadn't gone far down past the uh, the uh, caravan park, and Jude says, I'm thirsty. How about a drink? So what do you know? There's an underground bar. Let's go and check it out. Oh, I don't know where she's leading me. Certainly a grand entrance. Holy mackerel, look at the size of this thing. Is it the bar under here, is it? No bar. The bar was closed. Oh. Oh, well, there you go. No underground bar. I really must find out how much. You found it. Oh, you told me there wasn't an underground bar. <laughs> I can hear the underground bar now. I'd really like to know how much in the way of mileage of tunnels there are around Cooper Pedy. Must be staggering. I mean, when you think um, around Kalgoorlie, uh, the tunnels there that could, uh, oh, thousands of kilometres. But, uh, pretty wicked, dude. No end of history, photos, museums, artifacts. Anyway, we're going upstairs now to a shopping gallery. This is underground bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we made it. We found a bar to have a drink at at Cooper Pedy. Jude's got to drink hers down first. So much for cheers. What am I? Is it feels too high? You're thirsty or what? Yeah, it's that 40 degrees temperature outside. 40's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, this time of the year. Anyway, so here's to making it to Cooper Pedy. Cheers. Hey, check this out. We've just been down here in the underground bar. This is Scotty. And Scotty and, uh, what is it, the, the preacher? The bishop. The bishop. All right, look out for them on um, Opal Hunters. Uh, what, there's, there's two seasons you're on. Yeah. So what is that season? What are they up to now? Eight, nine, ten? Last two seasons. Last two seasons anyway. So there you go. Call into the um, underground Opal Wine uh, bar here in uh, Cooper Pedy. Say good day to Scotty. <laughs> cool little sculpture behind me. Big steel tree. Reminds me a lot of the, uh, there was a steel tree that I saw in McKinley, I think it was, Walkabout Creek. And it was um, all about um, the streets and the stations and the, the people and bits and pieces. This one's got a little different reason. Um, this bloke, Bob, he was moved here about 1965, ordered a bunch of steel, and uh, on the way here, the truck apparently caught fire. <laughs> so we had all the steel that got uh, completely warped, bent, and twisted. Um, I think there was LPG on board the truck as well, so it was a pretty hot fire. So uh, with all the steel on board, and uh, he was a little bit of a, um, a greenie, I believed. He would go around um, doing some ball samples or something, and he'd put a, a peppercorn tree or something, I think it was, which was quite hardy, and a lot of them still exist today. So he'd put a tree in, and he'd backfill it with a bit of a hose pipe, and it would be able to water it. Anyway, yeah, so obviously the theme of greenie, and uh, yeah, planted, well, made that. A cool bit of history. Good on you there, Bob. And in Cooper Pity, one of the uh, the icons, I suppose, or is the big winch. Man, it's massive. And uh, it was a brainwave of uh, Klaus, a bloke Klaus back in the early 70s. I think he had a little, he did a bit of uh, mining underground and then he had a little bit of a gift shop and things up here. And then he thought, well, if I build this, a bit like the, um, the Galar at... Um, who was that at uh, Kimba? They had a souvenir shop and he built a big, big galah well in here. Klaus built this big winch. So, uh, believe it or not, that baby blew over back in the 80s. Um, and the uh, the handle that you see down below me here is the remains of uh, when it got blown over in a storm. Massive. I think something like that. Mind you, she is pretty exposed up here. So, anyway, yeah, we're going. Uh, have a quick little look through the the big winch 360 which i think is a cinema and uh we'll uh, probably fly through there and uh there's a cooper Pedy sign it's the hollywood sign of cooper Pedy. 
just over here so we're going to walk over there for a photo op see you soon there you have it i don't think it stands out very well with the uh the very gloomy background back there but we've made it to the hollywood sign of cooper Pedy. So there you go all perched up here on the top of the hill overlooking uh, uh the underground bar we went to and caught up with uh, the legend scotty from opal hunters and then uh further down and through town which we haven't actually been down through that way but it seems like a lot of the tourist guides seem to think this is uh, the main area All right, we just made it down from the big winch, which you can see up there. Behind me is where we were going to actually park the other day. Man, it was absolutely chockers. Look at it now. There's only about four people there. <laughs> and it's midday. So yeah, as you can see, midday, still gloomy. But next door to that tree camp is this place here, the old timer's mine. So uh, we'll have a quick gander in there and uh, see what it's all about. I've lost Jude, so I think she's in there. Well, it was a quick trip into the old timers mine. Good little spot, nice little shop. The shop's got um, a wall, obviously, of mined tunnel, and there's um, they've left opal in the wall there, which is really quite neat to see it in its natural state. There's also a self-guided um, tour you can take in there. I think it's $15 an adult, which uh, looked pretty fascinating. There's little uh, little bits you could see as you're walking around there. So, all nice. We're uh, Onwards again, walking around Cooper Beatty, plenty to see. Oh, just when you think you've walked to every opal joint around here in Cooper Beatty, another one pops up. I don't know how I missed this one, that's a big bugger. It's called the Big Miner. So, uh, we're just going to have a quick little nosy, quaint little spot. And obviously there's so many more underground and morning and a drab old morning it is today in Cooper Beatty. Shame the sun isn't an up. Yeah so we're a little bit disappointed with the day today it's a little gloomy but considering Cooper Beatty's mostly underground and they reckon the temperature's like 30 odd degrees underground most of the time so I think we're pretty safe. So yeah we're just going to walk about. Um, one of the high recommendations is this uh, catacomb um, church. So uh, it doesn't look too much from the outside I've seen some photos and it looks pretty specky inside so let's go and have a look at it. Well, so that was the catacomb church. It wasn't too bad, but it wasn't the church that um, I had seen. So I did say that the uh, the pictures I'd seen was pretty specky, but it's a bit hard to sort of judge when most of it's all underground. You go, oh, I think that's it. Anyway, so we're going for another wee walk. The, the, the church, we'll see if we can get to it either this trip or next trip. It's a little bit further down the way. Just go and check on, see what Dean's up to. Oh, smells good, whatever it is. What you cooking? Can't you tell? Does it smell all right? It smells good. Okay, so what we're cooking, here we are in Cooper Beatty. And yes, it's been a long time, but this baby has been sitting in our freezer since Margaret River. It is a beautiful Margaret River venison steak. And I'm about to turn this baby. Are you ready? What do you reckon? Smells great. It does. So yeah, so you're gonna, we're gonna slice this little up into little cubes and we're gonna put it on our wraps with... Um, no, no, change, no, change, change, change of plans. It. Change of plans. <laughs> Excuse me, Judy's had a change of plans. <laughs> wow, good morning. And what do you know? The sun is shining. Oh, it took about a crap day yesterday and then look at this. Beautiful sunshine. Going to be up in the 20s again, which is nice to see here for uh, Cooper Pedy. 
but um, we're on our way. So it's not quite, a, it, this is a departing vid from the Oasis, which we just put out there. It's highly recommended, it was good. It was um, brilliant drive through spots down the back here. There's ensuite spots and uh, yeah, they've got every, everything sort of covered as usual. Um, and nice and handy to everything. So big old thumbs up to the Oasis family caravan park here in uh, Kuba Pedi. We're just going to go and finish off the last couple of loose ends. Um, we knocked off a hell of a lot more than what we ever expected in Cooper P last couple of days. So, uh, but there was that uh, church that I wanted to have a look at, um, possibly a graveyard, and then um, got to gas up and get some supplies. And we're going to hit the road heading north to Uluru.